everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the chunky, messy bun hat. These hats are so popular right now, and I really, as you know, if you watch this channel often, I love chunky yarn. I love chunky yarn projects, so of course I had to do one in chunky yarn. Now I used some super bulky yarn, a large hook, and then I added this beautiful wood button uh, made of recycled coconut wood. So it really makes a, a lovely little hat and it takes almost no time to make. So if you have a special button or a pin for the holiday or something like that, you can add that on there. And as you can see, it has an opening in the top. Now I'm gonna show you as we make the hat, um, if you'd like your opening to be larger or smaller like this. I like mine to be a little bit smaller so I can also wear it like a ponytail hat, which is also popular right now. So you can do, you can leave off that last round and make your opening a little bit larger if you have a really long hair and have a large bun, or if you have really thick hair, you can also um, have a larger opening for that. So let's get started. The finished hat measures about 21 inches in its circumference and about seven and a half inches tall. Now because of tension, your measurements may vary slightly. However, later on in this video, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make this part first, this ribbed bottom first, and I'm gonna show you how to customize it if you want it to be smaller or larger as well. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a large button as an option. It's not necessary, but it does add a nice little touch. This is a really large one and a half inch wide button. You'll also need a nine millimeter crochet hook, now, I just wanted to mention uh, the nine millimeter hook, some manufacturers will call it an N, an M. This one in particular calls it an M slash N. Doesn't really matter the letter, just make sure that it's a nine millimeter hook. You'll also need one ball of Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This is the Glacier colorway, in case you're wondering. If you need to substitute yarn, just look for a super bulky six on the yarn label here and look for one that recommends a nine millimeter crochet hook. And um, I'm gonna be using 106 yards of that. So just as a side note, this is the Wool Ease Thick and Quick Solids. Some of the prints and the stripes and other types of Wool Ease have a slightly different yardage. So just um, if you need to change the uh, amount of yarn, just know that some of those have slightly different yardage than the solids do. So let's get started. Okay, so we are going to be making our hat from the bottom up. So to make the bottom part of our hat, we're actually gonna be making a strip and joining it and then building our hat up from there, okay? So what we need to do is put a slip knot on our hook to begin. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop and tighten. Next, we need to do our starting chain. Our starting chain is six. So we're gonna make six chains. So wrap the yarn around the hook, and make one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next, in the second chain from the hook, so one, two, we're gonna work a single crochet in each chain all the way across. And so you get to the end there, in that last chain. Okay, now we want our hat to have um, kind of like that traditional ribbed brim. So what we need to do is work into the loops, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. We're gonna work into the back loops of our stitches. So chain one and turn. Now you notice um, the top of your stitches here are Vs, okay? So you have your front loop here, and then you have your back loop back here. Working into the back loop only will create a ridge and give you that traditional ribbed look for the brim of your hat, okay? So insert your hook into that back loop. We're gonna work a single crochet into the back loop. So bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through both loops, just like that. See how it leaves a little ridge in the front? Okay, just do that all the way across for all of your stitches. This also gives you a nice little bit of uh, elasticity for your hat as well. Okay, so just work in that back loop all the way across just like that and you can see it's already looking a little bit ribbed. So what we're going to do is 
our, our hat is gonna have a circumference of 21 inches. Now you can adjust your strip accordingly, just make it shorter or longer, totally up to you. But we're gonna work in the, in the 21 inch range. So if you follow along with me, it'll be roughly that circumference. Again, you can change it if you need to. So what we're gonna do is just repeat this row that we just did over and over and over. So chain one and turn. Now do the same thing, work into the back loops all the way across, single crochet in the back loops only, all the way across your row. And then we're just going to be repeating this row until our strip is about 21 inches long, okay? So I just chain one and turn. So just repeat over and over until your strip or your brim of your hat is 21 inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and work um, my bottom of the hat, and then we'll rejoin when this is about 21 inches long. So you'll need a, a tape measure to keep track, okay? So just repeat that row until your hat is 21 inches long. Okay, so I went ahead and worked my rows of ribbing until we got to about 21 inches. So now we need to join these together and we're going to seam them with a slip stitch so we have this nice ribbed bottom part of our hat. Okay, so all you're going to do is take your two edges and just sandwich them together. Now take your hook and go into that first stitch with your hook and then in the bottom layer here, we're gonna go into that bottom stitch just like that. See, I went through both layers Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. We're uh, seaming this with a slip stitch seam, okay? So go in the top layer into that stitch, the bottom layer, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Very easy, okay? Go through both layers again, bring it through, work the slip stitch, both layers. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through, bring the loop through the loop already on your hook. And here's that last stitch at the very end. Now this we can weave in later. Go through both layers, wrap yarn around hook. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, okay? Now, also working the slip stitch seam, our seam is showing, and that's a good thing in this instance. Sometimes we wanna hide our seams, but this one, our seam is showing and it makes it look like one of these ribs. So it kind of makes it blend in a little bit, okay? Let me get my hook back in there. So now we're ready to work our hat. So this is gonna be the bottom of our hat and we're gonna work upward, okay? So what we wanna do is kind of create a foundation that we're gonna be working our stitches into. So what we're gonna do is chain one and then we're going to work a single crochet all the way around our hat just to kind of create this foundation and neaten things up a little bit. So you're gonna see holes. Now we're working into the side, see we've turned it. So we're gonna be thinking about these holes that are in the sides. See all these holes that you see? You're gonna work a single crochet into each one of those, okay? So this first one you come to is right here. We're gonna work a single crochet, just like that. Now see this next one? When you're looking at your own hat, you'll be able to see that as well. Insert the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop. Now wrap yarn around hook again and bring it through both loops to do that single crochet stitch, okay? So all of these holes in the side here that you see just work a single crochet. Okay, all the way around our stitch. So there's gonna be about two per rib. See how I'm going? We have the, my rib here, and then there's usually a hole after that rib. So we're just going all the way around. And just make sure that you're just creating an even number of stitches all the way around as you work. Even if you had to have, if you end up with an odd number, even if you have to add one in there. Just make sure you have an even number of stitches in your hat, okay? So you can see it's kind of neatening things up a little bit as we work around, okay? So just continue working your single crochets all the way around your hat. There's roughly two per rib. So if you go all around and consider it that way, you'll get your even number. 
Okay, just work those single crochets. And you can see where uh, we began. So you can see how much farther you have to go because of that tail. Okay. So just keep going all the way around, working those single crochets to get that edge nice and neat so we can begin the rest of our hat. Okay, I'm just coming around. Now, because we're using this chunky yarn and this large hook, this is a really fast hat to work up. You'll find that you can probably whip up a few of these right in time for gift giving season if you choose to do that. I know that this type of hat is on lots of people's wish list this year as well. Okay, so right now we're back where we started. Okay, so I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round. And as you can see, we now have a nice neat edge that we're gonna be working into. Okay, so the top port part of our hat is gonna be worked uh, with some double crochet stitches as well. Okay, so we just completed round one. Now we're ready to move on to round two. Round two and the rest of the top part of our hat is gonna be a, like a nice chunky lace pattern. So it's gonna be warm and cozy, but it's also gonna be um, very textured and kind of give some ventilation as well. Okay, so to begin round two, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now remember, um, when we worked our single crochet round, uh, we wanna keep it uh, in a even multiple, okay? So we did a chain four. That's gonna count as a double crochet chain one, and it'll make more sense as we move through this round. So in this first stitch here that you come to, work a double crochet. So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into that stitch, and bring up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook, okay? So that's gonna serve as our first V. Then, so, just before we proceed, this tail along here, I'm just gonna hold it along the edge as we work and that will weave that tail in as we go. Okay, so the next stitch here, we're gonna skip. And the stitch after that, we're gonna work our next V. So to make a V, you work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, okay? So let's work our double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Just like that. Skip the next stitch, and the stitch after that, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Next stitch, we'll skip that, and then the stitch after that, still holding our tail as we go. We're gonna work another V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that stitch, on that same stitch. All right, skip the next stitch. In the stitch after that, work another V. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Okay, now we can drop this tail. I feel like it's been woven in sufficiently. It's kind of in place. And then later we'll just trim that off. Okay, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Now if we go back and look at our handiwork, you can see we have a lot of really nice V's happening on our hat, okay? So just continue all the way around, skip the next stitch, and the stitch after that, work your V stitches. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Get some more yarn here. I really love this blue, it's so wintry looking. Okay, so skip the next stitch, work a V in the stitch after that. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. 
Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip the next stitch, and in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Same thing, skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, do the same. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And let's look at our hat, it looks very pretty. Next stitch, skip it, stitch after that, same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next stitch, skip that one, stitch after that, work a V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch, and the stitch after that, work a V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, I'm going to slide these over just so I can slide up a hair. There we go. All right, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And we're almost to the end. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch and then we're back where we started. So count one, two, three chains up and join with a slip stitch to close. So insert the hook into that third chain up, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, so round two is complete. So we have our first round of V stitches. Okay, so we're gonna move on to round three next. Okay, so for round three, it's a little bit easier because we're not counting and skipping anymore. We're just um, working right into the V from the previous round. Okay, so what we're gonna do is chain four once again. One, two, three, four. Now locate that first V. Now remember that first V from the previous row had that chain four, then a double crochet, and that kind of made the V's like the rest of the round. So we're gonna work into the middle of that. So see, we can see our chain from the previous round, that chain four, and kind of how it kind of comes around, and then that double crochet. So right in that first space that you come to, work a double crochet. Because the chain four that we just did, it's gonna serve the same purpose as it did in the previous round. So that counts as a double crochet and a chain one, and then we just did another double crochet, okay? So we're just going to hop over to the next V and do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're just going to do this all the way around. This is a super easy stitch, but it looks really pretty. Okay, so in the center of each V, in the written pattern on the Fiberflux blog, this is called the chain one space. So in the chain one space, the center of each V, we're working a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And this stitch pattern also works up very rapidly as well. Not only is it pretty and textured, but it works up very quickly. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're just working our way around our hat. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Whoops. Next V, Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Next V, same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. 
chain one, double crochet. Next V, same thing, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, almost to where we started. See how quickly this hat works up. Next V, once again, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, whoops, let's back that up. <laughs> Next V, double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet. Next V, almost to the end of our round already. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So this is um, makes a great gift because you can whip a few of these up probably in one city. You can just pop a movie in and get a few done. Okay, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, and then we just have a few V's left. So let's just work those up. And now we're back at the beginning. We've worked all of the V's. So count one, two, three chains up. Insert the hook, join with a slip stitch to close. So bring that loop up and bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, so round three is complete. Okay, so for round four, because this hat is not as tall as your standard hat, we're gonna have to start decreasing, okay? So before we did a chain four and that counted as one of our Vs, we're gonna still be making Vs, but we're gonna be eliminating that extra chain in between, and that's gonna kind of bring our hat, start to bring it up and snug it up around the head, okay? So what we wanna do for this round is chain three. One, two, three, and now in that first V, just work a double crochet, okay? Next V, just work two double crochet. So we're eliminating that extra chain, so it's gonna to start to decrease a little bit. Okay, next V, work two double crochet. Next V, work two double crochet. Next V, work two more double crochet, and we're just gonna be doing this all the way around, okay? So go all the way around, working two double crochets in that chain one space from the previous round, center of each V, okay? So let me just, um, my yarn in order over here, okay, so just Work your two double crochets all the way around in the center of each V. And as you can see, it's already starting to taper in a little bit. Okay, so we are making leaps and bounds with this hat. And as you can see, uh, it's curving in. So that's a good thing. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and chain three one, one more time like we did in the previous round. One, two, three. Now, we're only gonna be doing one uh, double crochet. Now the last round we did two. So this one is going to be our double crochet. So we're going to hop all the way over to this first V. Now this is a V that doesn't have a chain in the center, so it's going to look a little snug than these down here, but that's okay. We're going to work one double crochet in, the, in between those two double crochets, okay? Because so we need our hat to taper inward so that we can have that curve around the head, okay? So we're just working a double crochet in between each one of those two double crochets you worked from the previous round, okay? So go ahead and just work those. So this round goes pretty quickly and see how it's curving in even more. So it'll be nice and snug when you wear your bun or ponytail with it. So just go in between each one of those sets of double crochets you worked from the previous round. Okay, and we can get a little bit more yarn. And this is probably our fastest round yet because we're just working one double crochet in the center, each one of those double crochets from the previous round. Whoops, okay, so we're gonna work just right in between. My yarn's slippery, there we go. 
Okay, so moving right around, double crochet, and a double crochet, and a double crochet, all the way around until we get to where we started. Okay, and we can peek ahead. We're almost there. We've made some great progress in just a short amount of time on our hat. Okay, so I'm just at that very last V. So just work a double crochet, very last V of that round. And now we're back where we started. Now it's kind of laying off to its side, but that's okay. So count one, two, three chains up, join with a slip stitch to close the round. Just like that okay so you can see after completing let me just remove my hook after completing this round the hat is really tapering in now we still need to make our opening if we set it up right like this we still need to make our round just slightly smaller okay so we're gonna work one more round and then I'm going to show you how to finish off this hole a little bit nicely okay so for round six we're gonna switch up our stitch a little bit we're gonna do a single crochet That'll give it a nice finished edge as well. Okay, so chain one. Now locate that first stitch, insert the hook, bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Three loops are on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. Okay, so we're doing a single crochet decrease on that, okay? Insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Insert your hook into the stitch after that, bring up a loop. Three loops are on your hook, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all three loops. We're just going to do this all the way around. So bring up a loop, bring up a loop in the next stitch, yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. Okay, insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, insert your hook into the stitch after that, bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook, bring it through all three loops. Let's do this all the way around to decrease, but also to give a nice little top part to the hat. Just make sure you have three loops on the hook before you bring them through, okay? Insert the hook, bring up a loop, insert the hook into the next one, bring up a loop. Okay, just have a few more stitches left and we're in the home stretch. Okay, getting really close, insert your hook into the next stitch, insert your hook into the stitch after that, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. And now we're back where we started. So insert your hook and join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, so let's look at our hat a little bit. We have a nice top on our hat. So you can do a ponytail or a bun through there and it's not going to be gaping open. All right, so let's finish off our hat. Cut the yarn. Now, if you want a larger opening, just don't work that last round, okay? Some of you um, will have, a, if you have long hair, for example, or thick hair, you might have a larger bun. So just don't work that last round if, if you'd rather have a larger opening. So what we're gonna do is fasten off. Now, turn our hat, we're gonna grab this tail because we're gonna turn our hat inside out we're going to thread the tapestry needle and just weave it in. So go in one direction with your tapestry needle and then come back in the other direction and then you can just trim with your scissors and if you remember that end from the beginning when we worked this bottom part of our hat, see that? Just give that a little tug and trim that off as well. Okay, so the only thing left is our button. Now, like I mentioned before, now see your, your opening is at the top, okay? Now, just to, uh, to mention this again, just leave that last round off if you want your opening to be larger, okay? I like mine to be a little bit snug like this because it gives me the versatility to do a bun or a ponytail, okay? So what we want to do now is do our 
button, okay? So find where you seamed and flip it over. There, now it blends, but if you want it to be on the actual front of the hat, just put it right there on the side. And then we're just gonna cut a piece of yarn and make sure that your tapestry needle can fit through your button before you commit to your button. And then just thread your tapestry needle. And then you're just gonna seam it on there with a piece of matching yarn, okay? So just get that button right on there, come up so there's a little tail left. Go back down in there. Mine's uh, tapestry needle is a little snug, but it still fits. And then just do that a few times. And then you can flip it back in there. And this is the inside of the hat. So you can either just trim these tails or you can weave them in. It's totally up to you at this point. I'm just gonna trim mine. Just tie a couple of secure knots. Now this isn't a functional hat, I mean a functional button. It's just decorative. So this is a completely optional piece to add. You can add something else. You could add a decorative pin or a little crochet flower or something like that. And our hat is complete. So that is how you crochet the chunky, messy, fun hat. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.